Trampoline is uh, a sport of highs and lows, and you've experienced both uh, ends of that spectrum just this uh, weekend, crashing out in synchro and then coming up with your best ever result internationally here. What are you feeling right now? Uh, just pure excitement. I mean, yeah, it's bad about synchro, but uh, individual couldn't have gone better and I was super stoked to make finals, so made it through 10 tricks and came a fifth. When you got off the tramp and uh, started walking towards the uh, kiss and cry area, I heard you say, uh, I've never done that routine before. What did you actually mean by that? Uh, well, I'd done different parts of that routine uh, leading up to the competition, but never actually put all the bits together. And that was the first time I'd done it and worked out well, so I'm very happy. You've been in the Canadian program for quite some time and uh, making some steady progress, but you've really blossomed just in the last six months or so and then peaked uh, here. What do you think is the key uh, reason behind that, Samantha? Uh, definitely a change in motivation, um, change in the way I compete and uh, I have to thank all of the, my coaches, uh, well my coach Dave Ross and uh, trainer Chris Chapman for all the help that they've given as well as the physio team. They've been great. With your routine tonight, you also uh, recorded the, the highest difficulty ever. Uh, was that something that was last minute and did you put in uh, while you were in the air? Uh, well, we had warmed it up um, in the warm-up hall and it was going great so we decided to throw it into competition and uh, it worked out well. It was a personal best difficulty so hopefully I can uh, increase it more for next year.